right now on the paper that you have out we're going to complete a frayer model and we've done a few of these this year on parallel lines parallel lines so in the middle of your paper you're going to use the whole sheet that's okay you're going to use the whole sheet of paper in the middle let's put a big circle and i want you to write parallel lines Okay, can anybody raise their hand and tell me something that I can put in the example section of our frayer here? An example of parallel lines. Jerry? Two lines that never touch. Lines that never touch. So that's something we know about parallel lines. Anything else we can put in the examples of parallel lines? Here we go. Those are parallel. Very good. Now, can you give me some non-examples of parallel lines? Raise your hand if you can tell me that something about parallel lines would not make them parallel. Yes? Um, they touch. They touch. Lines that touch. Okay. If we have 4 plus 2, well, why equals 4 plus 2 is a line 2? Do you want me to use that? 4 plus 2? Okay. What is 4 plus 2? Six. six. So that's the line y equals six. Raise your hand if you can tell me what that line looks like. We only have a y. Very good. Okay. Very good. Can you, can you tell me in a word what that looks horizontal. like? Horizontal. Very good. Because it only crosses the y-axis. If there's only a y, we only cross the y-axis, so we have a horizontal line. So y equals six. This is a horizontal line. Okay. Can you give me another line that would not be parallel to that? Some line that would not be parallel to this. Y equals negative six. Those are parallel. Okay. If we only have an X, what is our X or what is our line going to look like? A vertical line. So vertical lines and horizontal lines are not parallel, are they? Okay. So these would be not parallel. We're going to take all that we've learned from our examples and our non-examples and we're just going to list characteristics that we know parallel lines have. We have lines that never touch, lines that have the same slope, and the lines always stay the same distance apart. That, those are our characteristics of lines that are parallel. So now we're going to create a definition for parallel lines. And this is not a definition that you get off KVHS. This is not a definition that you look up in the back of a textbook. This is a definition that makes sense to you. Okay, so let's take what we know about our, our characteristics, looking at our examples and our non-examples and the characteristics you came up with. Can we write a definition for parallel lines that makes some sense to us? Okay, I want you to take a minute to think about it and see if you can write one on your own, on your own paper, and then, then we'll talk about it and we'll put one up on the board. But I'm going to give you one minute. Two or more lines? That what? That never touch. Okay. Is there a mathematical way of saying the same? What? Equal. How about that? Okay. Never touch. Have equal slopes. And always say, say the same thing. Always stay what? Okay, that works. 